Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue fish collection inside a student side because I did all thing inside student side. So we need to continue here is a student side like a fish collection. So let's log in as a student account and we can continue like a PayPal payment gateway because we were at two payment gateway like Stripe and uh, PayPal. So today I will explain about the PayPal payment gateway. So we need to do I think another thing the admin side my setting because my setting inside you need to add your PayPal business ID means business email address. Once you can add a PayPal business address after I will add the code here is the all code I already write it in other project I already copy here this is the user ID what what is the amount we need to pay and here is the like a PayPal ID means we need to set inside a admin side so this is the admin side wise we can see it here. So in this video we need to do first admin side suppose here I can go like my submitting sorry where is the fees collection fees collection inside I will do with the add fees and add fees I will add amount I can choose like type PayPal uh, strap so we need a he is a PayPal email address suppose suppose you are making the payment so we need a business email address so we need to do admin side one another setting my setting and my setting inside he need to add like a business address because you can see it like after CMD after we need to add item name whatever do you want to like we can add after item number means that we can what transaction we are doing so this transaction number we need to add so we need to know okay this is that number is like what is the paid means he need to pay it cannot need to pay it okay so we need to check after we need to get like amount what amount you are you paying so this is the amount we are adding so this amount we need to put here and after this is a my currency I am using the USD suppose you are using the different currency so you can use it and after is like cancel payment and return payment so we need to put here like a once payment success after go to here and suppose payment is not success going to payment error and after I create a one build inside and after I can redirect to our original website means we are using the like a live website so we can use first URL suppose we are using the sandbox URL so we need to use a sandbox I am showing inside a sandbox so let's make first admin side my setting means setting page and setting page inside you need to add your business email address okay so let's log out again student account login as an admin so I log out now and uh, students at the red sorry um, I will make it like admin at, because I sometimes forget admin at the red gmail.com and we need to create a new table here it means a new one change password before setting so just go to resources inside you to go use inside you to go admin and uh, layouts uh, where is the layouts and here I can go to header.blade.php so let's go down and just copy the my account and we can change to setting so here is the face collection just go down down change password okay and here is there is a like a my account okay so just copy this line and put bottom admin setting and here we can change also account to setting and here I can change my account to setting because future we need to add more column inside setting like a PayPal email we need to dynamic after stripe data we need to make a dynamic so we can do it okay so just go back again here is the page so you can see it like another page here like a setting so I will click here so route not found so let's create a this URL so just go to like a resource routes inside need to go web.php and here I can make it like a down 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 and just make it, let's make a first one because I don't want to make down here is account after I can make because we can use it like user account okay for the setting we don't want to create a new controller for the setting because same one is good I don't think is a we need to create a new control for setting so do you want to create so you can create I have no issue okay just I can make setting and just go to like user controller user controller inside I can make it here like a first like function setting and here I will redirect same like we did my account so just we can redirect to admin setting And here we need to pass like a data like a header setting okay 
so this is the file we need to create inside admin so just go to resources inside need to go admin admin inside we need to create a new file setting.blade.php same thing you just need to copy like my account file and you can put e inside setting okay we don't want to need like email address right now so email address we need so just remove the like name yes just remove the name and here you can make like my paypal email paypal business email paypal business email okay so this is the email address we can use inside a, our payment gateway so i just remove i don't want to need any validation here okay so here's a save and also we need to put here like a my account to setting and other thing i already remove inside a value inside a value there this is the value i have removed and just we can change like a placeholder email to paypal business email okay so let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here is a suppose error generated so we can short out don't worry i think no any error i hope so okay i will not save this file so let's save and i just refresh again and here is a method is equal to okay we need to use get method because we have used a post method this reasons just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a paypal business emulators here we can whatever emulators i can put like sample at the gmail dot my paypal address is like this there and i will click on the save so we need to store inside our database also you can see it here is an active class so let's open our database and we need to create a new pages like a setting no, sorry not, not a new pages like a table like a setting table so let's create for this model first of all we need to create a one table so let's create a first model psp artisan make model uh, let's make some zoom setting model okay so this is the we are doing like a setting model taking few seconds after the model successfully created after we can create a one table so here you can see it is the table already created okay means model already model is created you can see it here so let's create a new inside i'll put like a setting setting inside right now the only one setting there id is auto increment because always here's a one entry so just we need to always need to update here is like a paypal email paypal email and we can make where cat 255 none here is a stripe key stripe secret key stripe private key also found but we can do is a next because once i will explain about the like a stripe tutorial means type trap payment gateway after we can add okay so right now i just created it updated it and date and time null date and time null okay so everything is good now just save so table successfully created setting tables you can see it and also auto increment i will not add up also primary key just add a new record here like i can add like a testing data here i am always add a testing data because of youtube privacy this reason test is equal to test.com this is the my paypal email address okay is a youtube privacy so i don't want to make a, anything about youtube this is i am always using like a testing data here suppose you can add your real paypal address you can add your sandbox paypal address but once i will make a, my payment gateway after i will add a real paypal address means real business address about the sandbox but i can't show you about the youtube privacy and policy i hope you can understand what i say okay so i just copy and uh, i just put his name let's save this file and just go to settings and i can put his name like a paypal email address and just go back again and we can copy same route because he is route is a like a null and i can put like a update setting and here i can put like a post method before i have create post method but right now i need a post method okay because of the here is a setting inside you can see it like a url action is equal to blank so let's create a new function here like function request dollar request and i can make it here dd and get all data 
ok I save this files I just go back again refresh the page and I can add any payable address right I know I would like this payable address so let's use same payable address and I click on the now save so you can see it I get a PayPal email so this PayPal email I need to update here is a no multiple entry suppose we need to create any new column so is a creating inside the structures and adding after PayPal email address new column here okay I am not creating any other things it's like a it's different different column so always need a one column here means a one row always need here not one column row like a setting after you can add a second one you change this ID one two like this so generate the error so this is the ID always need a once after whatever do you want to do is your site coding but I will show you like this okay so we have already created one model so this model we need to declare here like setting model so let's go to inside setting models and setting model inside I need to declare the table name what is the table we have created just model setting and I just put here and I just copy this is a name I think setting to setting just make it small okay and here I get a like a first record so static function get single and I can pass like a return self self means this is the class name I already explained lots of time and find here I can put like one means I have fixed the one ID okay so I'm returning this is the data so I can update just copy this name and I can make dollar setting is equal to get single I am not passing any parameter because I already fixed like a one ID here you can see it ID number one okay after I need to see so just we need to use like a PayPal email is equal to trim function because I need to remove these spaces so we user by mistake made a space so I need to use a trim function and I can remove this space and after I click on the save okay now I need to redirect so you can use like a go to bottom and just copy this message and just put here return redirect back with settings successfully updated okay so let's make some zoom out so it's good for to show I think everything is clear here is also clear you can see it and also here is a clears so let's go back again refresh the page and I can add like a example test dot exam test dot com this is the my PayPal email address like a dummy testing okay I click on the save uh, get single is undefined of the because of the I have not save this file this reasons okay I save this files I just go back again again and I can add like a exam at the test.com save so you can see it settings successfully updated also you can see it here we have update this record also you can see it like updated date there so let's copy and paste inside created dates so we know which time we have created because this is a date not impossible to update but this date always update once you click on the update okay so let's show you like autofill data here suppose whatever data there inside our database so we need to show here so just go to up and just copy this line simple just copy this line and you can put like a dollar data and we can use like a get record and this data already passing inside a views so just go to setting and here we can pass like a data and we can do here like a PayPal email and I save this file I just go back and I refresh the page so you can see it our PayPal email address found whatever there so this is the PayPal email address we can use inside our code like this code inside here is a PayPal ID so I will make it dynamic so what future do you want to change so just you need to go here and you need to change so automatic here work but PayPal side do you want to active like a auto redirect some suppose new PayPal there so auto redirect is not there so you need to search inside Google and you need to search how to make auto redirect inside a PayPal so if PayPal give me the one tutorial and you can understand I will show you next video but in this video I will explain how to create a my setting how we can use my setting inside a like a, our student side so this is the tomorrow I will show you how to create a PayPal payment gateway because this is the basic funda there so I need to clear this basic funda I don't want to go like directly 
and after you need to change the paper invitation you need to go code and after you can change it because client don't like client always like he can do it manually this reason i will create setting and setting inside i will add i hope i think i hope you can understand everything and do you want to like this video so please like do you have any question so please comment out and uh, please share and subscribe this channel because do you want to see like this video more so is a better way you can subscribe this channel thank you for watching and next video we can do like a payment gateway i already find out this code in my other project and i already put here so do you want to learn your own way so you can try it and here is a code there and also here is a redirect there sandbox so just make it uncomment and make it comment this code and here you can add like your payment and here you can do it like item number this reason i show you the code so do you want to learn something so you can do it otherwise i can show you tomorrow this is the next video means tomorrow means next video 100% tomorrow i will create another video about paypal and i will try to finish as a like stripe so tomorrow is a like we can finish about the fees collection but after we can do inside a parent side so parent also make a payment so parents can see it okay my son what i need to pay okay son or daughter whatever there okay so i hope do you want to enjoy and thank you for watching